This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Make your own slick looking website with a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first order using this code and link below. Today, I've got something really exciting. Leica, could have guessed. It's got red dot on it. This is the M11. Sounds like a motorway, much more exciting. <laughs> Why? Well, there's lots of new features. Oh, that's a lot like it. <laughs> For a Leica. What is new? Oh, they do, yeah. yeah. HLG, L lock, L, L for or Leica. Okay. <laughs> this one comes in black and silver. Well, that's standard. The black one is 20% lighter. What? The price isn't 20% lighter. This is 20% lighter because the silver one uses brass. Oh. This one's aluminium, which is kind of odd because usually they had the aluminium body in the cheaper bodies like the M Type 262. That was a cheaper Should body. Be, yeah. Brass was considered a bit more fancy because yeah. when the paint rubs away, you get the nice brassing, yeah. as they call it. This is just aluminium, which is which is light, which is a lighter metal. It does feel good. I mean, it's nice and light. One thing that is slightly odd. It's still the same price as the brass version. Let me test this out, and you see. So today I've got the Summicron 50mm, not just any standard Summicron, APO. APO, what does that mean? It means very expensive and very sharp. This again, I've been a few times. I think sometimes it's, it's good to just focus on something that you think works quite well visually. You can try different things with it. You know what might happen. I find myself now to just stay in the same place, wait for some shiz to happen. It's not like I'm gonna reel off a whole burst of shots with this anyway. It is now 60 megapixels. I'm not gonna fill up a whole card with thousands of 60 megapixel shots. Got some marks here and there. I don't know, the, the more I brush it, the more it seems to take off, picking off bits of my fluff. It's not a black chrome finish. It's not black paint. I think they call it black paint though, but it's anodized. And it's got a sort of textured finish to it. You know, it feels a bit more grippy than the, the black chrome. Yeah. They told me it doesn't scratch, but there does seem to be a mark there, which I don't understand where that came from, because from the Leica shop, I put it in my camera bag which is not padded with knives. And then from there, I've just literally taken it out. Oh, it's prototype, that's why. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. prototype. Uh, it's but different with the retail version. Maybe it'll look better. Once, once you've unwrapped your 7,000 pound camera and you've scratched up a bit more, more than just one scratch, it'll look all right. More scratches is better than just one scratch. Look on the bottom. I mean, surely you can get scratches on the bottom. There's already one there. I don't know where that's from, but that's kind of understandable. This is new. It looks like it doesn't have the bottom plate, but they've made it new. USB-C! Yeah, USB-C. Wow! It looks kind of exposed. It's bottom. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> Look. No, it's like a nail file. <laughs> Why is this? It's on my dead skin there. It's all my DNA coming off onto the camera. <laughs> I, I am losing skin like a snake. So it means that you can change batteries a lot quicker. Yeah. And then you push it up. Almost like a hustle wrap. Yeah. Or like the SL. I love that because when you release it, it don't drop out. Yeah. It stop a bit. Yeah. But if you no. want to change SD cards, the SD card is in there. So quick to change battery not so quick to change SD card. Well, still faster than before that you have to take off the mm. whole plate and... Just because you don't know. If you do that, rotate. And this, this will, this will get lost down the drain. Oh no, I've lost it down the drain. Oh, I better change SD card. Okay. Yeah, so that's one major change. I'm making this Kai Wong edition with my skin. It seems like it wasn't so long ago when they released the 10R, which R resolution, I guess that's what it stands for. Now 60, 
that's more than some medium format cones. Decisive moment right here, birdie decisive moment. Go for it, go for it, go, yes. Jump, jump, jump. It's gonna happen again. There we are. Just take video. <laughs> ah, well that's where we hand it over to Locke to talk about the video feature. Or the two, I don't know. <laughs> zero K, zero P, zero log, zero, 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 zero bit. Or you could take a burst of 60 megapixel images and piece that together. Are you ready? Have you sat down? 4.5 FPS. <laughs> I know. Sit back down again, otherwise you might get dizzy. So it does that 4.5 FPS and the buffer is, I think you get 14 to 15 frames. That's it. Dark. Also shoot a DNG. Yep, DNG. DNG, yeah, DNG. Ooh, DNG. So that's not need to wait for uh, Lightroom updates. No. Menu system is different. Well, I have to say, I always like um, the Leica menu system. It's so simple. See, when you press menu, when you're shooting, you press once and it comes over just this, which is your, your bare minimum, your basics, basically. Press it again, it goes to the, the full menu. It's just one long menu. It's a function button. Really? I think I thought I saw. They have the head on this, and I think they did it away oh. with that on the M10. Or oh, I see. They didn't have it on the top, so they did away with it because they thought, uh, you don't need that. And then they went, yeah, I think we do need that. But um, we've still got this. This is cool. Yeah. It's got a little red. It makes it look like Panasonic for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do like it. I mean, sometimes I think uh, I want to change ISO is a little bit. But I think it's still quicker than going into the menu system or, or using a button and then doing that. Or unlock or whatever. Yeah, but you, you, can still, you can still change ISO here. So, but, um, Oh yeah, we're talking about ISO. The base ISO is now 64. As you can see, obviously, it looks much sleeker than before. Can you see? What? No. So the How? LCD screen, before, this used to protrude past this line here. So this, n this screen doesn't protrude past this line anymore, but it, st it still protrudes out of the back of the camera, which is maybe the M12. And then on the buttons here, we've got surrounds there around the button. So yes, obviously, um, ditch your M10, sell it now, get rid of it, put it in the fire, and then buy this now immediately. Put it into your posh, get your butler to put it in the fire. I'll give it to you. Give it to yeah, send it to me, uh, P.O. Box down below, and um, I will uh, recycle it for you, happily. Well, one thing it, you can do, as it's got so many megapixels, is that you can crop in in camera. Okay, so you've got some frame, you've got a frame there, 1.3 times and then 1.8 times, there we go. So that's 1.8 times. Interestingly, you can change it. You can change it from 60 megapixels to 36 or 18, I think. You actually get one more stop of dynamic range if you change from 60 to 36. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. You just do. You just do. But I've been told not to do any technical reviews. It's still <laughs> technical reviews. So we can't show you. We can't show you too much. So do you have to claim uh, uh, a disclaimer? It's oh, a, yes. It's oh, yes. Pro, um, um, beta version. Yes, or this what? is a beta beta. What else? You've got new improved photos 3.0 app, plus you get a dedicated made for Apple cable with the camera to transfer up to full res files to your phone if you want. Built in 64 gigabyte memory, that's pretty much it. In my opinion, get the silver one if you want that weighty, brassy Leica feel. The black one for travel because of the lightweightness. Although personally, I'm not entirely convinced about that new finish. Perhaps it's just my dry skin complaining. And also Leica M fans don't tend to like change. But the key thing is, the innards have been changed very much for the better. Some things aren't meant to evolve too much, but it has evolved in the right areas, I think. 
You only really want insane burst. You do want resolution. You want some nice images, especially when they've got APO lenses, very sharp lenses. You want to make use of all that sharpness with resolution. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service. You can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> what, have I done something wrong? Yeah sure, let's do it. Just taking a photo, we're first taking a photo. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I'm doing it's selfie as well. Starting Mexican standoff. Kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> TikTokers. All the TikTok video I I seen is like, oh this is great. I, and then and there's a lot of quick cut and then I just talking the, the, the camera always well. Uh, the, 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 the phone always moving like that. Hello, this video is not sponsored by Rode, but I'm going to mention that this video is sounded by Rode because this is the new Rode something or other go to shotgun mic, which doesn't take a battery. Hopefully, it sounds good, it looks good, nice, short, and squat, so it doesn't stick too far out. Great if you've got an ultra wide angle so you don't see the mic in your frame. But does it sound good? That's the most important thing. But anyway, we're not talking about road mics. I found my wings. I've been set free. Whoever's gonna borrow this next <laughs> is gonna be like, why is, why is my camera all white? So, and they can uh, uh, a chrome you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A mini, mini Kai, mini if, me. If anybody would like to do that. But um, yeah, so that's like, it's like a blackboard. Oh no, what? What's going on? <laughs> it's me, is it? You, you. If you need to ask how much it costs, you probably can't afford it. But check out the affiliate links anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please buy one. It means, uh, I don't know what it means actually. As you can see, I've got two Leicas. This is just some old uh, recycled Leica. I'm recycling it. Balancing it. I cannot just have one on one side. I have to balance it like that. Because otherwise I'll be lopsided, I'll be walking in circles. <laughs> Keeps them balanced. And also, it adds to the stealthiness to have, right. you know, as a like a photographer, you want to be more stealthy. Have two. Right. Have one shiny one as well. Yeah, I, that kind of bugs me that this is aluminium and the silver one is brass. I mean, usually I would I'd probably go for the silver one anyway, because everybody goes to black. Everybody thinks, oh, you know what, I'm going to buy Leica. I want to be stealthy, I want to buy the black version. I'm going to tape it up. Why, why? I don't, I don't believe in all this, oh, it has to be stealthy. It has, it has to be black. Use your phone then, if you want to be stealthy. There's so many candy shops now. And Amer American candy shops. You know, we've got bad enough teeth here, as it is. Another one. <laughs> Another one, yeah. Handrail fail, that's, that's to stop skateboarders. It's like, Whoa! oh, it goes up your bum. I don't know how was it before. It's like that, but without surrounds. Okay. Well, you're not taking photos. <laughs> when you're waiting for the size of moment, you just do that. Just walk the streets, looking at your camera. People just think you're taking selfies as well. <laughs> He's just taking selfies. No, I'm looking at my seven pound pound camera. Shouldn't advertise that too much, it's going to be Oh, I <laughs> myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs>